Okay. So, uh, in that case, we spin again. All right. On this channel, ladies and gentlemen, we like to read you a random Bible chapter. That's right. A random Bible chapter. And we did spin it once already, but we landed for the first time ever on the same chapter. We've read this one before, so we're going to hit it a second time. Let's go ahead and randomize it. Boop. Boop. First Timothy, first Timothy three. Wait, did we? Have we done this one too? Hold on. I know we did. Hold on. Sometimes I, I read the Bible a lot, so hold on. Cut. All right. A random Bible chapter of the day, ladies and gentlemen. First Timothy 3. It is a trustworthy statement. If any man aspires to the office of overseer, it is a fine work he desires to do. An overseer, then, must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, temperate, prudent, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not addicted to wine or pugnacious, but gentle, peaceable, free from the love of money. He must be one who manages his own household well, keeping his children under control with all dignity. But if a man does not know how to manage his own household, how will he take care of the church of God? and not a new convert, so that he will not become conceited and fall into the condemnation incurred by the devil. And he must have a good reputation with those outside the church, so that he will not fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Deacons, likewise, must be men of dignity, not double-tongued or addicted, too much, addicted to much wine or fond of sordid gain but holding to the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. These men must also first be tested, then let them serve as deacons if they are beyond reproach. Women must likewise be dignified, not malicious, not malicious gossips, but temperate, faithful in all things. Deacons must be husbands of only one wife and good managers of their children and their own households. For those who have served well as deacons obtain for themselves a high standing and great confidence in the faith that is in Christ Jesus. I am writing these things to you, hoping to come to you before long, but in case I am delayed, I write so that you will know how one ought to conduct himself in, house, in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and, the, and support of the truth. By common confession, great is the mystery of, the, of godliness. He who was revealed in the flesh was vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed in the world, believed on in the world, taken up in glory. All right. A little short one here this morning. First Timothy 3, the random Bible chapter of the day. I thank you guys for joining me this morning. That was interesting. We 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 uh we had our first duplicate. Limitations five must be important. It's twice as important. <clears throat> Maybe we should have read again. What do you guys think? 